हेलो इंटरनेट थैंक्स फॉर ट्यूनिंग इन टू लाइफ स्टाइल इनफाइनाइट वेलकम टू अनदर मेंटेनेंस वीडियो टुडे वी विल बी अपग्रेडिंग अ मैकबुक प्रो ए ट्वेल्व सेवेंटी एट इट इज़ अ 2011 थाउजेंड मैकबुक प्रो एंड अनलाइक द न्यू वर्ल्ड मैकबुक्स इट कैन बी अपग्रेडेड सो टुडे वी विल बी अपग्रेडिंग इट्स स्टोरेज एंड इट्स मेमोरी सो विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट द शो स्टार्टेड In order to make this system perfect for use in 2022 we will be making a few quality of life improvements like expanding the ram to 8 gigs by adding two 4 gig sticks of ddr3 so dim memory and we also will be checking in a 250 gig ssd this was one of the oldest macbook which still had the provision to upgrade like every computer should be thanks apple for bringing in the trend of disposable computers This MacBook was initially configured with an Intel i5, two sticks of 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 500 gigs of mechanical storage, and tons of connectivity options, including an optical drive, Thunderbolt, two full-sized USB ports, SD card reader, FireWire, MagSafe, RJ45 Ethernet jack, and the most beloved 3.5 mm headphone jack. This was a simpler time when we didn't have to purchase a type C dongle to connect every accessory. Everything was baked in it. For the upgrade components, I decided to get the most budget components I could find. For the memory, I have used two 4 gig sticks of DDR3 memory from a brand not known for its performance or reliability. and for the ssd i went with the cheapest ssd which i could find which is this a data ssd it works good enough probably it will outperform the existing mechanical hard drive these old macbooks were very easy to work with you just have to undo a few screws get the bottom off and you can easily upgrade the memory the hard drive and you can also change the optical drive into a ssd caddy i would rather upgrade this macbook pro instead of opening any other devices like in my previous video with the dell inspiron n5110 it is a little bit finicky with the great parts but considering you get all the parts which are supported by this mac it will be a breeze and if your hard drive is not dead yet you can still use the hard drive as an external hard drive by using a 2.5 inch hard drive caddy they are very inexpensive and it is worthwhile to keep the hard drive in a separate caddy if you want to extract any data from it and apple being apple i thought this upgrade was very easy rather too easy considering i'm upgrading an apple product too much surprise it doesn't work the memory which i got from the local brand it is not working apple hates local brand and to some degree it is anti repair so i had to shuffle and get a memory module which is compatible with this system i finally got hold of a couple of sticks of memory from samsung and let's see what's in store for us
and before you start if your macbook's hard drive is not dead yet go to the apple app store download the latest version of mac os which your system supports make a bootable drive out of it and keep it handy because mac os can only be downloaded from a mac you cannot download mac os from its official source from a windows desktop or a windows computer in this case i will be using my newish macbook air 2017 i will be getting the mac os catalina it is supported by my macbook pro 2011 seems like the upgrade is successful i will use it as my backup system thanks for watching this video till the end i hope you got to learn something new please post what could have been done better and also your suggestion for upcoming videos in the comment section thanks again see you around